Welcome back everybody. So today we're going to have the next tasting of my Eldorado with Marisotter and Two Row. Now this is a small batch 1.5 gallons going into the carboy. One pound eight ounces of Two Row, one pound of Marisotter. For the boil 0.39 ounces of Eldorado at 30.29 ounces at five. Um, then a whirlpool of 0.5 ounces at 170 for 15 minutes. Then uh, 0.32 ounces uh, used three days into fermentation. US05 yeast was used. Uh, this was bottled on 114.3 or 7.39% ABV. Go ahead and get this open. Good hiss. Very good smoke. See if this has a little carbonate, more carbonation than uh, the last one. Ooh, this one might be overcarbed. Hmm. Yeah, there's definitely floaties in there. Um, off white tannish color head, small medium bubbles, more small than anything. A uh, little, almost pretty much two fingers of head on this one. So obviously, I'm guessing it is the carbonation that is helping with that head. Color very burnt orange in color, tons and tons of bubbles coming up. Um, I'm guessing this was the last bottle with how much stuff is floating in there. Um, yeah, very cloudy. You can't see through that thing. I don't even know if you could see through it with all those bubbles coming up. It's definitely a little darker using that two-row. Watching all the uh, hot pellets come up there. Let's go ahead and smell. I almost want to say like a floral, almost like a lavender. Sweet malt, sweet toasted bread. Um, it has the same characteristic as uh, the last one I just tried, uh, which was the, yeah, the All Marisada, or El, or El Diablo, uh, El Dorado. Yeah, this, this one smells more like it's got a floral aspect to it. Now, this one does have the 0.5 ounces more for the Whirlpool, so I could see it bringing a little bit more to the table, and that's almost what it smells like. Because I, I don't believe uh, that two row is going to overpower Marisotter, at least in my opinion. I think Marisotter has a stronger smell and taste and uh, two rows not going to be able to get through that. Uh, so even though I only used one pound of Maris Otter, which is half a pound less than I did the two row, I was expecting uh, that Maris Otter to take over in this. Yeah, smells good. Let's go ahead and taste. Thicker side, sweet, like a sweet, a little bit of fruit, a little bit of floral, a little hot burn or bitterness, I should say. We'll go with bitterness. Aftertaste, more fruit, like a very sweet, over-ripened fruit. The, the... Yeah, I was going to say the malt, the, the malt feels overpowered, like it's overtaking the, the, the hops, the hop that's used, the hop flavor in there, which I could see for a seven month, seven month beer, old beer. It's definitely different. Body's good, a medium body, nice and smooth. You get some of that sweet fruitiness in there, a little floral, a little bitterness in the back, 
aftertaste that bitterness like lingers but that sweet fruit follows it I'm guessing the two row is helping balance it out where in the straight Maris Otter it, it's taken over it's like it that two rows help helping that two row not take over the hops <laughs> I don't know but yeah you're you're adding a little more obviously uh two row than anything but it's definitely a very different beer now that whirlpool of hops could really help out yeah as i as my palate's warming up it's more of a sweeter fruit like older fruit um that i'm picking up in there so i might have to do some more whirlpool additions with El Dorado and see if that keeps up. I don't remember getting that sweeter, older fruit. Now that could be because it is seven months old that that's coming out. Um, but I like it. Would I brew it again though? I probably wouldn't. I, I think that Maris Otter, Two Row, uh, that maltiness that's in there, that sweet malt is just a little too much. There, I wouldn't want to drink this all the time. The, again, this feels more like a fall beer than anything. I know the, the let's say the, the hops aren't fall hops. Uh, they're more summer hops in my eyes being fruity and citrus. Um, where you do want a little bit more of that sweet malt maltiness to come out in a fall beer where it's starting to get cold. Um, so yeah, I don't, I wouldn't make this. I don't even think I'd make it in fall and drink this whole thing like it is. So, but hey, that's why we're making these. If you enjoyed this, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.